Hello, can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a customer. I was in there a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. And I was inside your cooler, you know, like in the back. Yeah. And I, I left something in there. Do you think you can go check and see if it's still there? What did you leave and where? Uh, it was my Kenny Loggins CD. And where would it be? You know the big walk-in cooler that we're not supposed to be in? Okay, what were you doing in there then? I was just... Nothing. Then why would it be in there if you're not supposed to be in there? I, I just... I don't know. I was just in there. Like, let's just not even worry about that part of it. But I left it... I left... I, yeah, I left it in there. I was changing discs on my disc man. And, um, and so you walked back there, and you're not supposed to be back there. And now you want me to go back there and look for your CD? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left it in there. I don't see where else it could be, because I know while I was in there, I was listening to my disc man, and I had to switch. So what were you doing back there? How long were you back there? Uh, I was in there. I was back there quite a while, like a good 20 minutes. Uh, well, please don't call this number again. Why? Please, and if you come back, I'll call the cops. No, don't call the cop. I'm a regular. I'm a regular customer. Well, you have no business being back there. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been back there, and I won't go back there again. But I really need okay. my Kenny Loggins. And then tomorrow I'm going to tell Jeff, and you're not allowed in the store no more. Well, I want my CD back. You can't just take my CD. Okay, well, you shouldn't be back there. Okay, that's no... You have no business being in the back of the store. But that doesn't give you the right to steal my property. Nobody's stealing your property. Well, if you don't give me back my Kenny Loggins CD, you are. Okay, well, then you call the cops, and we'll deal with it then, okay? No, you I'm have not a calling nice the, Why would I bother the cops? her anymore, I will call the cops. Why would I bother the cops with this? Because you had no business being back there, it and does, you can get it from Jeff tomorrow. Well, you know what? I'm leave, just, just going to... Leave these women alone tonight. I'm just going to come in, and I'm just going to go back there again, and I'll look, from, I'll look myself. And then I'll call the cops. No, you won't. Watch I'll, me. I'll, I'll sneak back there. You didn't know I was back there the first time. We just tuned into the Snowplow Show. Yes, that's when we realize that we're in luck. We can't wait till the prank calls begin. When Brad makes landlords angry, we're listening to the Snowplow Show. When psycho complainers get accused, we're listening to the Snowplow Show. Meanwhile, Brad is drinking for locals. Cactus. We'll convert rooms into pools and we'll get dark shit in our hair And we'll install cameras in cacti and spy on the town of Paradise Valley And we'll call our patrons and I know that we'll laugh And we'll give snake eyes to those who don't And that's my life on PLA Well that's just life on PLA That's just life on PLA Cactus And that's just life on PLA Cactus We'll tear off people's roughs Cactus We'll harass some more Santas Cactus We'll kill some people's lawns Cactus. We'll flush coffee beans down the toilet. <laughs> um, I, I, this is, I, ma'am. <laughs> what? Cactus. This one goes out to Michelle's tweets on Twitter. Cactus. This one's for Sensei Doug. Cactus. We also listen to Hobo Souls. Hell yeah. Cactus. Hang up the phone. Cactus. PLA people, phone losers of America. Cactus. PLA people, but we're not desperate hobos. Cactus. PLA people, phone losers of America. Cactus. PLA Hobos, cacti, LA people, for losers of America, cacti, LA people, but we're not desperate hobos, cacti, LA people, for losers of America, cacti, LA people, PLA people. Thank you.
thank you, Beagle Dude, for that amazing intro song. Apparently, that is a parody of Bone Cage's Ultimate Ohio song, which I'd actually never heard before. I need to go listen to that. Or is what I should do is I should make that the outro song today. Hopefully, it's as good as Beagle Dude's song, but I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to beat. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is October 3rd, 2019. This is episode 584, and it's brought to you by FOD87, Amanda D, Gobi, Rhino Knife, Jack S, and James S from Adelaide. I am required to say where they are from. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the show. Thanks to the new people who've signed up, like Weaponized Cactus and G Dog, Corey P, Raiden Digital, Derek K, Dobby, and Chris C. You guys, another person has been crazy enough to get a PLA tattoo on their body. Deadly Pliers has sent me a photo of his new PLA tattoo. I'm going to make that the show art today. He says, I really enjoy your show and the work you've done in the past. My wife and I listen to you religiously, and I'm on your Patreon. We've been listening to you for about three or four years now, and your sense of humor has definitely helped me through some tough shit and slow work days. I tried to get True Green to spray some grass killer on my lawn in the shape of the logo, but they said that was too badass for them, so I did the next best thing. He now has the PLA bell tattooed on his right arm. He's probably already regretting it, and if you'd like to see that, that's the show art. I've also set up a brand new page on phonelosers.com to showcase all of the people who have been crazy enough to get tattoos. You can find that at phonelosers.com slash tattoos. It's got deadly pliers on there. It's got Mac G from last year and Dr. Unk from 2016. He got one of a cactus on a payphone. And Alex from 2018, he did the uh, Obey the Cactus art on his leg, or it's based on the Obey the Cactus. And I know there's others. Like, I remember other pictures. Like, Trevor got a PLA tattoo back in, I think, 2011 or something. And I don't seem to have a picture of that anywhere. And I know there was one other guy. So if you want to have your photo on the Phone Losers tattoo page, then get a tattoo of something related to the PLA and send me a photo to show at snowplowshow.com. You totally will never regret doing that. And if you remember anyone else's tattoos that I've forgotten to put up there, send me a link to those. I almost feel like I need to get one now. But I've already got a telephone company bell symbol on my arm, which is basically the same as the PLA logo. It's completely stolen from that. So it'll be weird if I have two of them, right? Maybe I should do the PLA thing over it. You know, fuck the phone company, just do the PLA thing. Thank you, Deadly Pliers, for motivating me to set up that page. In case you've forgotten, there's going to be another PLA meetup in Portland, Oregon in about two weeks. That's going to be on October 19th. That's a Saturday. It's just going to be a small one. And I don't know for how long or whatever. I guess, you know, from like noon until whenever. It's going to be at the Retro Gaming Expo in Portland, Oregon, which you can learn about at RetroGamingExpo.com. Apparently the Angry Video Game Nerd's going to be there. Not to the PLA thing, but to the Retro Gaming Expo. And I don't even know where we're going to sit or meet or anything. Just follow the PLA Twitter, I guess. Twitter.com slash phone losers. We'll figure it out. But once again, this is not going to be a major one. This is just something local for me to do because I live somewhat close to there. So PLA meetup this year. We haven't had enough of those this year yet. Also, remember the San Jose meetups happening in April of 2020. I'll try to find a link to that to put in the show notes also. I am actually caught up on my emails again. I've been really behind on them for the past couple of months, but I caught up on them this week. That's why I didn't get a show done on Monday, because I just did emails all day. But this means I found a bunch of brand new songs to play in the show that I've been neglecting for a while, like Beagle Dude's amazing intro song. And before we get started, I'm going to play this one by Jeff B. This one's called Steve Blazed. Okay, what's your name again? Steve Dave. 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 That one. I.T. You are right. So, yep, 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 Hello. Hello, Linda? Yes, this is she. Hey, Linda. It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live, you know, down a little bit. What's going on? I was hoping that you could close the toilet lids in your house and possibly tape them shut. I'm going to be applying... A bunch of uh, pressure into the waste pipes, about 130,000 pounds, to uh, all the waste pipes in the immediate area. Okay. It's just an experiment I'm um, doing. Do you have duct tape? Uh, no. Uh, packing tape? Why? Scotch tape? I don't know. Anything? 
Because otherwise, it's just it's going to blow waste up under the air. Why are you doing that? <laughs> That's just an experiment. I just want to see if I can. I've got this uh, industrial strength compressor in my basement. I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to. I'm hooking it directly. Now wait a minute. Directly well, into the you waste. You have a basement. Or we're in Florida. Well, it's not a um, legal basement. It's kind of one I put there myself. It's cool. Okay, it's, it's all, what, I've got it waterproofed. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. What is your address? Uh, I live at um, 88 Loop. You're way... Oh, trust me. It, it's it's going to reach. You're it's, not in it. You're not in No, but, you know, it's it's like a right... It, it, it's going to reach. I've I've got a map of all of the uh, the waste pipes. I have a question for you. All right. How can you call every neighbor and do this? Oh, I can't. Some of them I'm not getting a hold of, so they're just going to come home to a mess. I feel bad, but... Then you got... better not be doing it. No, it, it's fine. If it's, it's an just... experiment. It No, it's for science. Oh, it's... honey. What? You don't want to do that for science. You will make a mess. I know. That's what I'm saying. You, you should definitely uh, shut your toilet. And no, I'm probably, not going to do anything. Well, you're going to have a mess then. You need to tape it down. Like tape the lid. I'm not put, going to tape it put down. Put something heavy on it, like some phone books. Do you have phone books? Uh, Dictionaries? No, but I do have your number, and I'm going to give it to the customer service here at uh, because what you're doing is nuts. Well, it's not nuts. No, it's for science. Um, I'm going to let you go. How come? Bye. Why? She's going to call customer service on me. This list comes from Reggie. He sent it to me last week. It's some kind of a homeowner's directory, possibly, I think. Maybe. I'm not really sure. I've already called two people on it and they say they don't live there anymore. And a lot of the phone numbers are out of the area. It's odd. I'm going to call up a few of these, though, and see what happens. See if they still live in the area. I'm confused about the HOA name now because she gave me a completely different name than what is on this directory. But apparently when they have problems, they call customer service, which is weird. Hello? Hello? Judy? Yes? Hey, it's your it's your neighbor. This is Roy. Roy? Yeah. I'm just down the street a bit. I, I had a um, just a... Uh, I, I don't know, not a question really. I, I'm I, I'm doing an experiment on the waste lines in this area. I'm going to be pumping a lot of uh, <laughs> pressure into the pipes. I just need you to close your toilet lid and put something heavy on top of it. Okay. Um, can you do that immediately? Because uh, I'm getting ready to fire this thing up. <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. I know, I know. It's it's not something you typically hear, but it's just something I want to try out. It sh- shouldn't take very long, but uh, I wouldn't use the toilet for the next hour. Oh, okay. Um, can you do that right now, real quick? Do you have something heavy? To, yeah. Can you tape it down? Do you have duct tape? No. You might want to tape around the edges so nothing gets out. Because I mean, if you don't, it's it's gonna. Like I'm, I'm gonna put about a hundred. Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. Are you crazy? I'm gonna put about a hundred and thirty thousand pounds of pressure into the water pipes. I mean, into the waste pipes. Yeah. And uh, I just, I don't want it to make a mess, you know. Okay. What are you doing right now? Uh, nothing really right now. I mean, like, are are you shutting the lid? Are you putting heavy things on it? No. Oh, you might want to. I'm, I'm All right. Ho- I'm hooking this machine I have. It's uh, I'm, Damn it. She just does not care. I really want someone to argue with me about this, though, before I stop doing it. Hello? Hello, Ray? Yes. It, it's Roy. I'm I'm your neighbor. Okay. I'm, I'm here Hi, on Roy. A- hey. I'm here on <laughs> Loop. I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm working on something, uh, kind of an experiment on the waste pipes here in the area. Uh, I was just hoping you could shut your toilet lid. What? I'm, not, I'm, I'm getting right. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm getting ready to pump a bunch of pressure I, into the waste pipes, and uh, it could make a mess if you don't I, shut your toilet lid real tight. Are you being serious? Oh yeah. Yep. Very serious. 
Well, unfortunately, I don't live there yet. Our house is still under construction. Oh, okay. Well, you're fine then. It'll just make a mess of the construction site. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, that's not fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, we're actually on, on on the road. We're on seventy five right now. But uh, uh, yeah, no, we have a, we aren't moving until uh, after the twenty fifth. We don't close until the twenty fifth. Oh, okay, great then. Uh, hopefully, okay. they can scrub that all out of there, like out of the wood and stuff. Because even is there even a toilet installed in there? Yeah, there. All all the toilets are installed. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, those are probably gonna. I'm sure they'll clean them up for you, right? Well, what exactly are you doing? Uh, I've got this uh, industrial strength compressor. I'm, gonna, I'm hooking it directly into the waste lines, and I'm going to pump about 130 pounds of pressure into the into the pipes. Yeah. And, uh, and where are you located then? Uh, I'm just a few doors down from you. I'm on 89, okay. 97. I mean, do they know you're doing this or? Uh, no, no, that's why I'm calling everyone. I just want everyone to, like, shut their toilets and, uh, you know, put something heavy on top of them. Oh. You'll, you'll oh. get used to it. Okay. I'm kind of the crazy, uh, neighborhood scientist. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll get used to it. <laughs> and you're not pulling my leg? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm a Christian. Okay. Well, it just seems uh, again you can get in a lot of trouble doing that, though, can't you? I mean, I, I don't think so. Because I mean, I'm I'm calling everyone first. I'm letting them know, like you know, put put the you know tape down the lid. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's not Kevin. <laughs> what was your name again? Uh, this is Roy. 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 Yep. Roy. Yep. And your name is Ray. We're like twins, Ray and Roy. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks for calling, Roy. Sure, no problem. Yeah. Bye. Bye. He's like, oh shit, what kind of neighborhood have I moved into? So these houses aren't even built yet. Like, is it possible that Reggie gave me too new of a directory? Let me put this into Google Maps and see what it looks like. Oh, and the address doesn't even exist, apparently. That's just great. Well, I've got different neighborhoods to choose from, because this directory is organized by separate neighborhoods. And here is a neighborhood that appears to be fully developed, but there is no Google Street View of it, which probably means it's a closed neighborhood. They don't let just any hobo in there. So yeah, I'm going to move on to this neighborhood. We'll see if I have better luck with it. Hello? Hello, Gail? Yeah? Hey there, it's Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Yeah? Um, I, I, I was just uh, hoping you could... um. I'm doing this experiment on the waste lines, and uh, do you think you could shut your toilet lid and put something heavy on it? Oh, you want us to shut our toilet lid? Yes, please. Uh, like, and and maybe like tape it down. Do you have some some heavy duty tape? No. Okay. Well, uh, if you could shut the toilet lid and uh, put something heavy on top of it. All right, because you're going to do what? Uh, some kind of test. Yeah, yep. I, I live just a few houses down. I'm going to be uh, pumping a lot of air pressure into the waste pipes. And, uh, okay, hold if, on a if, minute. You can, you can explain it to my husband. All right. Hello? Hello. Uh, I was just telling Gail that uh, I'm your neighbor, and I'm going to be pumping a lot of air pressure through the waste pipes here in a minute. Like a lot. And uh, you're going to want to shut your toilet lid immediately. And maybe just not use the toilet for the next hour? Well, why are you pumping air through the system? Uh, it's for science. It's just a, just an experiment, that's all. <laughs> but it it sounds, sounds weird. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You know, what else have I got to do? Uh, I'm going to do about 130,000 pounds of pressure, though. And uh, it's going to hit all at once. You just really, really want to have your toilet lid closed. Otherwise, there could be a mess. And 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 uh, Oto knows you're doing this. Uh, well, I haven't told anyone. I'm I'm just calling up the neighbors in the immediate area, like within a certain radius of my house. And uh, I th I think after that, uh, sh the people should be fine. Like I, I don't think it's going to hit them too hard. <laughs> it it doesn't sound like there's something you should be doing. Yeah. 
I'll, it's going to clear the lines, I'll tell you that. Like, it'll probably, uh, you know, it'll, it'll, most likely it'll make the lines better for the next few years, but we won't know till we try. Okay. Have, have well, you, have uh, you, you know, have you closed the lid yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you put something heavy on it? Because the air alone is going to be enough to blow it up and, you know, open it up again. You know, I really would like it if you had approval to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt they're going to give, they're, I doubt they're going to give me that. Like, what do you have heavy that you could put on top of it? I just put some magazines there. And now I got to go find another, in, in the other toilet, I got to go find something. Do you, do you have like a on. big toolbox or, I don't know, like a mini fridge? Just something really heavy. No. Because, I mean, this is going to be a lot of pressure. You're, and, you, and your name is? Uh, my name's Steve Dave. Yeah, if, if you hear it, like you, if you hear noises in there, don't take whatever you put on the lid. Don't take it off. In fact, you might want to go in there and just sit on it for 30 minutes or so. No, 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 no. If I get any damage, I want to know, I want to know who you are. So if I get any damage, that I can come to you to collect Oh, there's not going to be any damage. It, it'll be fine. Just you know, it's just an experiment. Don't worry about it. And you say your name is TP. Yeah, TP. TP Stevens. All right. Well, you know, I sure hope nothing happens. No, nothing's okay. going to. Ha- no, it's nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to happen. I, I just really need you to, like, if you have duct tape, that would be good. If you could just duct tape down the lid. No, I don't. I don't do things like that. Why not? Why don't uh, you? Like you're not handy. I'm 75 years old, and I tell you what, I've done. I've turned everything over to somebody I pay, uh, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not interested in fixing or doing anything like that. Okay, all right. Well, um, I don't know. Uh, like, how about a stack of plates, like plates from the kitchen? I mean, those are heavy. I got I got something. I got something on it, but I, uh, well, I'm, I'm not. Uh, not happy with this. Maybe okay. a, maybe a, a mop bucket that's filled up with water, or, or filled up with uh, okay old screws and bolts or all something. All right. Well, g- g- give me five minutes to go get some more stuff on it. Okay. okay. That's all you get. Five minutes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, wish me luck. Thoughts and prayers. Right. Th- thoughts and prayers, sir. Oh, I couldn't tell if that was the TV talking or them. The inspiration for this prank comes from a real life incident that happened to me. And I don't like talking about this. It's not a happy memory. But back in 2014, I was actually sitting on the toilet. I was pooping. And I hear this noise coming from the toilet, this hissing sound. And I hurry up and I finish pooping. I'm reading about this on my website right now so I can remember the details. <laughs> but uh, so like I, I look in the water and the, the water is like moving back and forth. And this toilet's it's like on the second floor of a house. It's where I currently live. And the water just keeps moving. It's getting worse. It starts bubbling. I feel like I'm in a really bad dream and I want to flush, but I can't because the water looks like it's boiling. I mean, I I probably could, but it it probably would, I don't know, do something awful. And I think I was right not to flush the toilet because I had to go somewhere. I had to be somewhere. So I just kind of shut the toilet lid and left. I didn't put anything heavy on it, like a a toolbox or a mini fridge or anything. So I think it was okay. But I got home from the errands that I was doing and there was water all over the floor. There was like uh, just like bits of toilet paper all over the floor. Luckily, my poop was not all over the floor. I wrote in here on my website that it was like a solid poo. It wasn't like a liquidy poo, so it wasn't super disgusting. I still had a lot to clean up, but it was just toilet paper and water basically. And as I left, you know how a house like right above the bathroom, there's a pipe on the roof, which is a ventilation pipe for your toilet. And it was making a bizarre noise. I was looking up at it and expecting shit to start spraying everywhere, but that didn't happen. But it was making a noise. It was like just a bizarre noise. I swear to you guys, I'm telling you the truth. This really happened. Actually, this happened twice to me in this house that I live in now. And both times there were uh, trucks out in the street doing some kind of work. 
And all I can think is that they were blowing air through the the sewage pipes or something. But I don't see how that would make my toilet water boil and go all over the floor twice now. The second time it happened, I didn't see it happen, but there was a maintenance guy at my house for just completely unrelated stuff. I forget why he was there, but I went into my bathroom and the the roll of toilet paper on the wall was completely soaked and there was water all over the floor and I went and got the maintenance guy. I'm like, have you ever seen anything like this before? And I told him about the first time it happened and he didn't have any answers for me, but both times there were trucks working out in the street. I don't know what the hell they were doing. Maybe you listeners can shed some light on this about why my toilet just occasionally explodes every few years that'd be nice if any of you know why that happens hello hello joyce speaking hey it's your neighbor steve dave hi hi um i'm doing a little uh experiment here with uh, air pressure in the waste pipes yeah and i'm just gonna need you to shut your toilet lid and maybe, can you tape it down? Oh, uh, I don't even know how to do that. Can you hold on a you second? Don't know, you don't know how to use tape? You know, duct tape. Oh. Your duct tape, wait. Once. Or, or, you know, pack. One second, I'm going to put Bill on. Maybe you can explain it. Oh, uh, okay. Hello? Hello, Bill. It's uh, Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Yeah. Uh, I'm just doing a little experiment here. Uh, you know, I just live a few houses down. I'm going to be... Uh, uh, putting a lot of water, a, a lot of air pressure into the, the waste pipes. I just need yeah. you. I just need you to shut your toilet lid, and make sure it's secured. What to make sure the lid is on the toilet? Well, just make sure it's not going to pop open with all the pressure. Uh, okay, and why are like, you doing this? Uh, it's just, uh, just, uh, just for science. You know, just don't worry about it. But uh, you're gonna want to put something heavy on top of it because there's gonna be a lot of air pressure coming through those those pipes. Just and like and a little, who are you? Uh, my name's Steve so- Steve Dave. And where do you live? Um, well, I'm I'm here. In the, I'm on <laughs> loop, but I'm, I'm like just you know uh, seven or eight houses down. I'm just calling up everyone within a certain radius and hoping that they're home because if they don't shut their toilets, there's gonna be a mess. I don't quite understand what you're doing. I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's it's like an industrial strength uh, air compressor. It's going to put about 130,000 pounds of uh, air pressure into the waste pipes. Yeah, and why would you do this? Uh, it's just uh, you know just an experiment. Yeah, you know, I, uh-huh. I just got to do something with this compressor that I've got. Uh, my suggestion is not to do it. Why? Have a good day. Well, no. I, uh, I, I, like, are, yeah, are you going to do this? Are you going to, like, you know... Secure? No, I'm not. You have a very good day now. Listen, Bye-bye. if you don't, there's going to be issues. You know, uh, like, this is a homeowner's type thing. Maybe I should say I'm with the Homeowners Association. And we're getting ready to do this. Would they believe that, maybe? Hello? Hello, uh, Diane? Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Okay. I, I live over on a uh, circle. Okay. Okay. I, just on the opposite side of you. Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, pump a bunch of air pressure through the waste pipes. Okay. All right. And <laughs> okay. you're gonna need to you- uh, you're gonna need to shut your toilet and secure it. Like, make sure uh, there's something heavy on top of it, so it doesn't blow open. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, the, the like if you don't uh, shut your toilet lid and put something uh, heavy on it or tape it down. Is this a joke? No, no, I wouldn't kid about this. Why? What do you mean? Who are you? Are you a plumber or what? Oh no, no, I've never been a plumber. Uh, I'm with the homeowners association. Okay. And it's just uh just a little experiment we're doing. We're gonna be uh, pumping about 130,000 pounds of pressure into all the waste pipes. Just to see what happens. I don't know why. It sounds kind of bizarre. Yeah, it's something to do, you know. We, we got to uh, use up the rest of our budget. So we <laughs> That's got. Really yeah, we got this instu- industrial strength uh, air compressor. Um, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it, uh, you know, start up here in a minute. All right. This it, is the craziest thing I've ever heard of. It's sounds a loud like one. A joke. 
No, no, it's not a joke. Uh, have you uh, secured your toilet lid yet? Yes. Um, what a, what kind of heavy thing have you put on it? <laughs> what? Are you kidding? No, no, I'm serious. You need to put something heavy on that thing. Like uh, just something uh, you can just sit on it if you want. Sit on it for about 30 minutes. All right, forget it. This is stupid. Goodbye. No, it's not stupid. It's It's for science, ma'am. Okay, apparently science is stupid. Hello. Hello, Fred. Yes. Hey, it's um Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh can you um we're we're doing a thing with the plumbing today. Can you go turn on one of your sinks and and let me know what color the water is? Well, I just had it run a few minutes ago. It was all right. Oh, okay. It's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Well, it's uh, it should in in any second now. It should turn into a uh, black goopy stuff. Okay. And it's going to be very. It was sputtering. What? When I, when I first turned it on, it sputtered and stuff. Before. Oh yeah, yeah. That's because we had the lines open. There's probably a few air bubbles in there. That probably means the the black goopy stuff is on its way to you. Well. Is it still clear? Yeah, yeah. So far. Huh. Is is uh? Do you have a lot of? Do you have good water pressure there? Is it coming out pretty good? Good as it always does. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Is it usually good? Well, the kitchen, the kitchen sink doesn't. It never come out fast since I've been here in the three years. Oh, I see. Um, do you think you could flush the toilet real quick and and see if that comes out black and goopy? Sure. Hold on. How many toilets do you have? Is it black and goopy? No. Well, let me fill the tank back up and flush it one more time. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. That could have just... Yeah. That well, could have been... Uh, what? That could have been just in the tank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Good. Good. Good thinking. Um, Let me see what happens. Yeah. From from now on, your water is always going to be black and goopy. That's just the way it's going to be. It's. Don't worry. It's safe to drink. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh no, it's fine. It's like you know how they put fluoride in the water. Yeah. Yeah. This is like fluoride times ten. It's just, but it it yeah. looks black and goopy, but it's completely safe. Yeah, still come out clear. Hmm. Well, it should be there any you know any minute now. So uh, just keep an eye on the water, and when it turns black and goopy, don't worry about it. Just keep drinking it. <laughs> it, it you you won't have to change recipes. You can still boil it. You can still use it for whatever. You, you can bathe in it. Well, why is it all black and goopy? Because it's uh, it's like it's a new thing we're doing. We're we're putting we're injecting some uh, extra chemicals and stuff into the water, but they're completely safe. Oh. Is, is it black and goopy out of the kitchen yet? No. Well, that's weird. Your next door neighbor's is black and goopy. Yeah, it's still coming out clear. Huh. Maybe she took all the goopy crap. Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll call her and tell her to shut it off, so you, you can so it can start happening over there. Yeah, no, it's still coming out clear. Okay, well, expect black and goopy very soon. All right, when's it going to clear up? No, it won't clear up. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be black and goopy forever. I don't like that. Why not? Well, I don't want black and goopy. Yeah, but it, it's it's fine. It's it's just like it's just like fluoride, except it's black and goopy fluoride. Nah. It's better for you. Like it's better to drink. Yeah, we'll see. Oh no, we will. It, it's it, it's completely safe. Uh, they've done studies. Uh, it hasn't been approved for uh, you know like nationwide use yet, but probably in a few oh. more years, everyone's water is going to be black and goopy. Yeah, I ain't buying it. Well, still you, clear. Yeah, well, you're going to have to buy it because that's what it's going to be. You're not going to have much choice unless you go oh, buy. Put a, put a filter system in. Oh no, the filter won't work. Yeah, it will. It'll be like trying to filter uh, paint. You know, it's, you're not going to get water out of it. 
It's just going to be black and goopy. Yeah, well, it's still coming out clear. All right. All right. Well, keep an eye on it. Black and goopy, I'm sure, by the end of the night. I'm surprised it's not started yet. Yeah. All right. All right. We're also doing something new with your gas lines. Do you have access to the gas lines? Go over th- Why you? What's, what are you doing with the gas line? No, I, I was just kidding about that part. Never mind. All right. No, the, but the black and goopy stuff, that's for real. Yeah, well, there's nothing coming out, so. Yep. Well, there's something coming out. It's water. I can hear it. Yeah, water. That's it. You sure you're not? Right. You sure you're not colorblind? <clears throat> colorblind no, or something? I'm not colorblind. No, it's just clear water. Okay. All right. All right. We may All call right. you back and uh, check again later. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Black and goopy. Right. Bye. He didn't get upset until I mentioned the gas lines, but then I couldn't think of anything to say that wouldn't sound dangerous, so I just stopped on that one. Hello. Hello, Gordon? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Uh, I was calling to check on your water. Uh, we're doing a new thing. Um, like, have you tried using your water lately? No, you're talking about... Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep, yep, that's the one. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, we have another Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lot, so. anyway. um, yeah, our water is fine. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's still coming out clear, and it, and it's in a liquid form? Yes. Okay, it's going to be coming out in gas form soon. But it's like a heavy gas. Oh. It'll stay low. You know, it'll, Okay. It, it'll stay in the sink, but it won't exactly be wet. It'll be like a gaseous form. Okay. And that's just how it's going to be from now on. Like in the toilet, the shower, everything, uh, your water is going to be more like gas than a liquid. Really? Yep. Uh, what's this all about? Uh, it's just a this. it's a cheaper thing we're doing. It'll it'll lower your water bill. It's going to lower everyone's water bill, but the water is just going to be uh, more more in a gas form now instead of a liquid. That doesn't make sense. Oh no! It's a it's a heavy gas. It'll it'll stay in the it sink. Doesn't. It's not going to fly around the room. Yeah, is this a prank call or what? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't make a prank call. Name and number. Yeah, what's your, what's your number? Uh, who's that coaching you what to say? My wife. Oh, tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, this is this is man business, you know, just it involves a uh, thing. Uh, okay, his wife made him hang up. These are the dumbest ideas for calls today. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Hello, Glenn. Yeah. It, it's Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me, Glenn? I don't like that. Glenn. Hello, Glenn. And then it went off. No, I'm I'm right here, Glenn. Glenn. Yeah, I don't know. Five is. One eight zero zero six nine. Yeah, zero zero six nine. When I do that, and they say yeah, and then they hang up. Glenn. Maybe they got all they wanted. What? They got all they wanted. What? What's he talking about? They got all they wanted. Hello. Glenn. Glenn. Uh, yes. Y- you hung up on me. No, I didn't. I just got disconnected somewhere or another. Who oh, is this? that's the weirdest thing. This is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh, I was calling to check on your water. We changed the water today. You have new water? Hold on. Uh, okay, hold on just a minute. Okay. Oh, my God. He just hung up on me. Again. Are you still there? Yeah, you keep hanging up on me. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Don't Let me move. see if I can do this right. Okay. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Now, what's going on? Uh, we've changed the water. Your water is going to come out as a gas now. Uh, is is it doing that yet? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. The, the water, it's going to be coming out as a gas instead of a liquid. No, I don't have, we don't have anything like that. Oh, no, no, we, we've changed it here in the Homeowners Association. I'm going to hang up, man. I don't know what the hell you're talking oh, don't, about. Don't listen to Sarah. You don't have to do what she says. Tell her to shut up. That's somebody that you know. <laughs> what? Somebody that he knows? Why would she make him hang up on someone he knows? This is Charlie. Leave a message after the tone. You know the drill. Thanks. <laughs> that was a great message. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, Ted. Yes, who am I talking to? Uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh, I was calling to check on your water. We've uh, upgraded the water in the neighborhood. Have, have you noticed that yet? Oh, what about the water? Uh, we've upgraded it. You have a different kind of water now. Is it coming out different? Not that I can tell. <laughs> it's oh. the same as it always has. Yeah, we, we just, uh, you know, it might take a while for the, the, the new water to reach your house. Have you checked on it lately? Like, have you tried to get a glass of water or anything? Oh, I've done that all day long. Oh, okay. And I can't say as I've noticed any difference from what it was before. Oh, well, it's going to come out as a gas from now on. Going to come out as a gas, you yes. said? Yes. In, instead of liquid, it's going to be gas. Water? Yeah, it's it's a heavy gas, so it'll stay close to the the bottom of whatever you put it in. But it's it's gonna it's gonna be much lighter, and it'll be a gas instead of a liquid. Uh, I'm afraid I really don't understand. H two O is a liquid. Yeah, but we we and if you're gonna turn it into a gas, you have to heat it to make a vapor. Uh, yeah, we've got the equipment uh, at the local pumping station. You know, we, we, we've upgraded everything. This is what everyone's going to do soon, like all across uh -huh. the country. But, yeah, everyone's going to be drinking uh, gas, gaseous water from now on. <laughs> that, that's, well, okay. That'll be in your shower and your toilet and in your uh, laundry and everything. Is it going to bubble? Uh, no, no, there's no bubbles. It's just a gas. You won't even well, have. That's no. Yeah, uh, d d you're gonna have to buy this new uh, gas compatible uh, dish soap at the store from now on. Hopefully, they sell it. A gas compatible soap. Yeah, dish soap and, and uh, shampoo and everything. You know, it's it's all gonna be gas instead of liquid. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. So uh, it, it's it's not doing that yet for you though. Not that I know. Okay, well, it should start soon. You should start noticing your water come out as a gas. Okay, well, thank you for calling, then. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, enjoy the new water. <laughs> thank you. It, it's it's going to be cheaper, by the way. Oh, I'm for that. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully the wastewater will be cheaper. That's more expensive than the regular water. Oh, no, that's going to go up. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Because of all the gas. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for calling. Yep. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. You too. Goodbye. Bye. Can't really tell if he believed it or not. I kind of think he didn't. I need someone to be a little more perplexed before I stop doing this one. Hello. Hey, uh, Tom? Who's this? Uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. Homeowners Association? Okay. Yep. Uh, I was calling about your water. Have you noticed the change in your water yet? Uh, why should I notice a change in my water? Uh, we've we've upgraded your water. It's going to be uh, coming out in gas form from now on. Water coming out in gas form? Correct. Yeah, it's good. it should start at any point this evening. Uh, most of the houses have already started seeing it, but some of the houses haven't having a you know it's it's still coming out liquid it's not coming out liquid it's coming out gas yeah well no it's air in the lines or what oh no no it's it's a it's just a new thing we're doing uh there the water is going to be just it's going to be a gas from now on that's just the new type of water it's going to come out as a gas g a s yeah yeah instead of a liquid it's going to be gas uh 
joke? Are, are oh, we no. on no, or no. something? No, I, I wouldn't kid about this. It's just uh, it's going to be heavy gas. It, it'll stay in the sink. It's not going to fly up in the air. It's a heavy gas. It's just going to it's going to come out as a gas from now on. You're not going to feel. You won't really feel it exactly, but it'll be there. And it, it's safe to drink. It's completely normal. It's just in gas form now. So you take a shower in air. Yeah. Well, no, it's water. It's just in in gas form. Okay. And now, it, let me go back to seventh grade earth science. Okay. There's liquid, solid, and gas. Okay. It's not going to be solid, obviously, because that would be an ice cube. Yeah. And it's not going to be liquid, which would be the normal state. So is it steam? That's the only way it would turn to gas. No, it's like a new thing they're doing. It's uh, I, I don't. I'm not a science person, you know. I just work here at the HOA. I'm just letting you know your water is going to be a gas from now on. Uh, that's a gas. What's, um, what's a gas? <laughs> that, that it's going to be a gas. Is there somewhere I can search this on the uh, internet, or is it on <laughs> site or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there's an article up about it on our site. Okay. That's, okay, that uh, sounds weird to me, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just the new thing they're doing. You, you'll see, it, um, the, like, if you leave your water running for a little while, eventually you'll notice it'll start turning into gas. But, you know, don't let your sink overfill, because it can still overfill. You get, you'll get gas water all over the floor. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't make a bit of sense to me. But yeah, well, is it it's gasoline it's, or gas. No, non-liquid. No, it's non-liquid. It's it's water. It has nothing to do with gasoline fuel. It's not flammable. It's just water, but it's in gaseous form. Uh, that that's not computing at all. It's not computing at all. So it's on the website. It's not on the website. Isn't that who we get our water from? Yeah, well, it should be on both, really. You should have got something in the mail about this. You didn't get the thing in the mail we sent out, like, a couple months ago? No. Huh, okay. Well, I know of. It'll make sense to you soon. You know, just leave your water running for a little bit. You'll see. It'll start coming out in a gas form. And it's completely safe to drink. You can wash your hands in it. It's just water, but it's in gas form. Okay, I'll take your word for it. All right. Well, you have a nice evening. I, I just wanted to check on that for you, make sure everything's going okay. A lot of people are confused about it because it's, you know, it's... Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's, it's very confusing. Yeah, it's a little off-putting to have your water come out as a gas form. Uh, yes, that would be weird. Yep. Okay. You'll get used to it, though. That, that's how everyone's going to do it from now on. I think that's the level of perplexity that I was hoping for. I think I can probably stop doing this one now. I love how that guy's like, let's go back to seventh grade science. These people know their shit. And I don't know what else I can really say to people. Should I say that their electricity is going to come as a gas now? <laughs> they need to upgrade their wiring to gas pipes. Hello? Hey, uh, m Mr. Yes? Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm, I'm the I'm the driver of the ice cream truck here in the neighborhood. Driver of the ice cream. I don't know what you're talking about. There's an ice cream truck, you know, that drives around for, for people to have ice cream. No, I didn't know that. Okay, well, anyway, uh, every time I drive by your house, you live at 8416, right? Right. Uh, every time I drive by there, Patty is, uh, like, at the window. And she keeps giving me snake eyes, and she winked her butthole at me today. She what? She winked her she winked her butthole at me. And that, that's not cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm the ice cream man, and I shouldn't have to put up with that. I'm just doing my rounds. That's at the all. pool? No, like I drive the truck around the neighborhood, the white truck with the ice cream. Patty has been inside all day. I know. She was at the window, though. And she, she always gives no, me... No. Our windows are covered with blinds.
No. You wouldn't be able to see her anyway. No, she went, Not in she, our windows. she went behind the blinds, like in front of the window. I think that what you need to do is find a life. What do you and th- if you call me again regarding this kind of a situation, I will have you arrested. What, what, what do you mean Period. arrested? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Patty's the one. All right, that didn't work out too well. I get this idea from Kingsley. He said to call up random homes and tell them I'm the ice cream truck driver while I play the ice cream truck music. And that someone there is winking their butthole at me or other silly things. But this is probably a terrible neighborhood for it because it seems like all these people are old. It's probably a retirement community. So they're not going to have ice cream trucks driving around. Are they? I got to save this one for a different list. Hello? Hello, Stanley? Yeah, that's me. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm the ice cream truck driver in the neighborhood. Wait a minute. Give me that in slow English. I, I gave you it in English. So don't you understand English? I'm, I'm the ice cream truck driver. Ice cream. You know what okay. ice... Okay. I, I just have this issue. I, I keep going by your house. You live at the 8769? Yeah, what about and, it? Well, your your wife keeps uh, winking her butthole at me out the window. Can you please ask her to stop doing that? I don't think you got the right address because my wife is not doing a damn thing. No, she is out the too. window. Like there, there's like five different times now. I've gone by your house and she winks her butthole at me out the window. Like not just. How could she? There's a friggin' tree in front of the house and a hibiscus that she can't even see the roadway. So what the hell are you coming up with this crap? Look, can you just please ask her to stop? I, it's very immature and I shouldn't have to deal with that. I'm just trying to. Where, where are you at? Are you in? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I drive the ice cream truck around the neighborhood. You don't and drive an ice cream truck around the neighborhood. In yes, I do. Why would you say I don't? Because if you have done so, I would have seen you. And by God, I have never seen you. Okay, it sounds like you're just making up excuses for your wife. Can you just... Oh, shut up, you moron! Just tell, tell her to stop. Okay, I can't stand the ice cream truck music anymore, so I am done with those. I'm definitely going to do those with a different list, though, because I love that idea. Thank you, Kingsley, for that one. Oh. Hello, Art? Yeah. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Um, I, I just uh, I have a number here for you to write down. Do you have a piece of paper or something? Hang on a minute. I got the TV a little. Okay. Okay. You're from what homeowners association? The. Okay. Do do you have something to write on? Yeah. And what am I supposed to do when you give me this number? Uh, it's just uh, just just to have. It's just uh, it's regarding the water. We're we're doing uh, you know, the the water is going to change. Hang on one second. New new water. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so you're doing, what is it about this water? Uh, it's going to be new water. Like, do you have something to write down Write down this, this number with? Yeah. All right, you ready? Hang on. Go ahead. All right, it's 566. Five, 566. Six. Six. Uh-huh, then 73. 73. Seven, three. 5140. 5140. Or zero. Okay, can you read it back and make sure we have it right? Yeah, wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what you said this is about the water situation. What are, you, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, the the I just that number I gave you. That's my social security number. Did you write it down? That's your social security number. I never heard of a five six six social security number. Yeah, well, it's from it's from Washington. It's from the state of Washington. That's where I was born. Lake Hills. <laughs> Lake Hills. You know what? You know what? This is this is a bullshit call. What are you talking okay. about? What, why are you talking? Like I can All right? def- just because I'm not from Florida. Yeah, it, I, I was. This is a fucking. This is a fucking scam. It's not All a right? scam. Like why Goodbye. are you? Why, why are you writing down Don't my? Don't ever so- fucking call me. Don't ever fucking call me again. But why are you writing? Right? Why are you writing down my social? That's not a social security number. Yeah, it is. It's my social. Why are you writing no, it's it down? Not. No, it's not. Why, why? Because you gave me five six six seven three five one four zero zero. Where's the last digit? I did. I said five one four zero. You you shouldn't have that. Like erase that. That's that's my you know social. 
you know what? Don't ever fucking call me again. This is a goddamn bullshit fucking scam call. I know. You're trying to scam me. You, you got my social. Guy tells me I'm scamming him. He's, he's writing down my social. What's he going to do with that? I don't know what his problem is. And here, let me look this up. I'm looking on a website, ssa.gov, which tells you where somebody was born based on the first three digits of their social. And 566 falls under California. So apparently, Rappy McRapperson was born in California, not Lake Hills, Washington, as I had assumed. And it looks like Florida is more in the 200 range, 261 to 267. But come on, why is he freaking out just because it's a weird first three digits? Doesn't everybody in Florida come from somewhere else? That's where everybody goes to retire. And he's trying to tell me it's fake just because of the first three digits? What's wrong with that guy? Hello? Hello, Gary? Yeah. Hey there, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm calling to give you a number. It's it's a uh, it's about the uh, you know the uh, drainage lines. We're getting ready to do a thing. Do you do you have something to write with? Um. Yeah. Just a second. Okay. A drainage line. Yep. Yep. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be pumping some air through the drain line soon. I just have to give you a number here. You just have to write it down. Okay. It's five six six. Go ahead. Okay. The number is five six six. <laughs> Five six six, and then seven three, and then okay, okay, and then five one four zero. What's that telephone number? Uh, no, that's my social Earth. security number. Oh, so D- did you? What is this? I'm. Not... Uh, it's my social security number, five six six seven three right. five one four zero. Right, but D- so what's the purpose of this uh, did, did you write that down yeah what, what are you doing why, why are you writing that down that that's my social like you shouldn't have that you, you need to destroy that <laughs> well why didn't <laughs> i thought you wanted me to write it down. oh no like what, what are you doing like are you an identity thief or something i, I like what, what do you plan to do with that what are like, you, you should, talking about you, sh- you shouldn't have my social i don't know that, what you're t- I, I'm talking about. Well, you shouldn't have given it to me. Well, like, why would you write it down? What like, you're doing? Well, I don't know what you're doing. Like, what? What are you trying uh, to pull here? I don't. I don't know. Goodbye. Like, like, he needs to rip that up. This is so stupid. I don't know why I keep doing this. I think this was an idea by Doctor Astronaut PhD, or maybe wasted memory. I can't remember. I think it was Doctor Astronaut though. I know they've both been doing that though, calling up people and giving them Rappy McRapperson social. Hey, hello. Hello, uh, Ron. Yes, it's uh, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Can, can, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. They they want me to give you a number to write down. Do you have something to write with? Not yet. Okay. It's about your roof. I'm in I'm in uh, Michigan right now. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, they just want we won't be down there for another week, I guess. Oh. Yeah, they they just want you to have this number. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, it's 566 and then 73 and then 5140. 5140? Yep, 40. Can you read it back? Uh, yeah, I'm missing a number, I think. 566-735-140. Right, yeah, it's just nine digits. That's my social security number. Well, okay, that's a, that's a telephone number? No, no, that's my social security number. Okay. What do you have that for? What do I have that for? Yeah, what you wrote it down? Yeah, I wrote it down. Why would you write it down? That's my social. You're not supposed to have that. What what, what are you doing? Are you, are you trying to trick me or something? <laughs> you just give me that number. I know. You should write it down though. That's my social. Like, what if somebody else gets that paper? 
You, you need to rip that up. They have no idea. They have no idea what it is. It's my social. I just told you. You shouldn't have my. Yeah. You shouldn't have my social. Uh, can you write my name uh, next to it, real quick? Why? Uh, you, just, just in case you need my name. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Uh, this is Steve Day from the Homeowners Association. What Homeowners Association, sir? I already told him from the... Okay, hey, look, and you're calling regard, regarding what? Look, I don't know what, what his deal is, what he's trying to pull, but he just wrote down my social security number. Like, what's he have that for? How could you write down a social security number? Yeah, yeah, why'd he do that? Why does he have that? What's he going to do with it? Why, he's going to call the U.S. government and check on you. He better not. No, I don't give no, him... No, why I, not? I don't give why him... Why not? I don't give him permission to do that. Tell him not to. Oh, I'm, I'm giving him permission to do it. No, you need my permission. What, like, what are you guys, like, scammers? Yeah, I guess I'm a scammer, just like you. I'm going to report you for this. You better. You better report me six times over, buddy. Oh, I, I will. You believe me. <laughs> you are funny than funny. I, I'm well, not... Pardon me. What homeowners association are we dealing with? I already told you that just like a second ago. I know, but don't tell me again, honey. No, I, like not until I hear him rip up that social security number. Tell him to rip up the paper. Oh. How could he gotten it unless you gave it to him? Look, that doesn't matter. He shouldn't be writing that down. That that's illegal. You can't do that. Well, why would you? Why would you say it? That's none of your business. Like you stay out of our conversation. <laughs> okay. Well, you're wasting my time. So goodbye. Well, you're wasting my time. You better not report me. Well, lady was awesome. I had to call her back from a different number. Tell her to be careful of people giving their socials. It's a scam. And you know they're probably going to be trying to figure that one out forever. Like, what was what was he doing? Why would he give that to me? It doesn't make sense. I highly encourage everybody out there to call people up and give them Rappy McRapperson's social security number. Once again, that's 566-735140. It's totally cool because it's from a song he did called the 566-735140 Boogie. 566-735140! Five six six seven three five one four. Oh, 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 oh I'm going to make just another call or two before I end today's show. It's been fun, but I think it's time to end this. Hello? Hello, Charles? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yes? Um, we're, we're trying a thing there tonight. We're going to be uh, bathing your home in electromagnetic energy. Can you shut off all your lights and appliances real quick? <laughs> And and what is the purpose of that? Well, uh, you're, we're gonna have you turn everything off, and th and then we're gonna uh, send some pulses of electromagnetic waves all throughout your house, and it should turn everything on, even with the power switch is turned off. Okay. And your name is what? Kenny? No, my name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave. Correct. Yeah. Uh, no, that's I'm really not interested in, in, in fooling around with any of that. Okay, well, we just don't want you to have it turned on because, like, if you if you have it plugged in, it it, it could overpower and like burn out your light bulbs. Well, I'm, I'm just curious, what authorizes you to do this? Uh, we're we're just trying to, we're going to try and sell electricity to you guys. I, I'm here with the homeowners association. There's there's a scientist from New York. He just flew down here. He's trying to hook us up with this wireless power stuff. So we're, we're going to try and uh, make everything light up without having it plugged in or even turned on. Yeah, okay. uh, and, and who exactly are you again? Oh, this is Steve Dave. I work in the, um, you know, just in the finance department usually. But I'm just uh, helping the scientist set up his machine. We're getting ready to send a bunch of uh, pulses of 
uh, electromagnetic okay, so you're, energy so into you're your calling house. everybody in well uh you know just everyone within this uh certain uh range of this uh machine we're getting ready to turn on it, it's going to make every light in your house turn on even if it's turned off okay it, it's like I'm, I'm just a skeptic by nature and it just seems funny that at quarter after seven at night you would be doing that and it wouldn't be pre-advertised well it's no no we sent a thing out in the mail uh, weeks ago and we can't do it in the daytime because the sunlight interferes with it oh well i never got one in the mail weeks ago okay well anyway all your lights are going to turn on in just a few minutes and if any of the bulbs burn out it's your fault for having them turned on no, it's not, and actually, it would not be my fault. Well, it's kind of your fault. Your you're just, you're just going to have to replace the bulbs. We're not going to replace them for you. Because if, if, well, if they get double power in them, they might, you know, they might just... They might, be, and, if, and if they do burn out, trust me, you're going to end up paying for them. Oh, no, I'm not paying for anything. This is, I, I called and told you. Hello? Well, I think I turned them into a believer by the end. That's pretty cool. I converted a skeptic. Hello, Jory. Oh, hello. Hello, hello Jory. Th this is uh, Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. Uh, I just um, called to find out if you can turn off all your lights real quick. We're going to try something. Uh, well, I'm not home at the moment. Oh, where are you at? I I'm out here at Neighbors. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. Uh, which neighbors are you at? Because we, we're going to try this across the neighborhood. We're going to try and turn on all the oh, lights. okay. What? Uh, if you want me to, I can go run back to the house, and I'll tell them what's waiting for them. I'm with the youngs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they're in the zone, too. We're getting ready to... Uh, we're we're going to be uh, sending uh, high-intensity electromagnetic waves into the house, and all of the lights, yes. all of the lights are going to turn on in there. They're going to turn on. Yeah, well, like, Am I to turn them on or keep them off? Well, you should turn everything off right now because if there's too much power, they could, they could burn out. And the refrigerators and stuff like that? Uh, those should be okay, hopefully. We'll see. It's just, it's just an experiment, you know. Who, who knows? Okay, uh, who knows anything what, specific that I should turn off? Uh, no, no. Well, just the lights because uh, we're, we're mainly going with the, uh, the frequency that the lights run on. And we're going to make all of okay, the lights, like, even if they're turned off, they're going to turn on. Okay. And what about the uh, computer? You want me to unplug that? Or nah. Turn it off? It'll be fine, I bet. You're not going to melt it? Well, you know, I, I don't, I'm no scientist. I think I'll go turn it off. Oh, no. Nah. Okay. Like, but, no, we're going to be doing this in about five minutes. So we're going to make all the lights come on in your house really bright. Okay. But I don't have to do anything. You're just going to turn it. How, how the heck are you going to turn them on when they're all turned off? Uh, it's like a new wireless electricity transmission thing. Some scientist uh, uh, engineer from New York came down here, and he, he's setting up our whole neighborhood with it. It's going to make the power okay. cheap. The power is going to be cheaper. Okay, fair enough. Yep. But, uh, well, I'll sit here, and I'll watch the flames coming from my house. i got a view on my house. Okay. So yeah, yeah. You go ahead and you... If, 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 okay, if I'll just warn these guys. Okay, if your lights are on, the the bulbs are probably going to burn out, but it's no big deal. Just buy a new bulb. I'll, I'll go turn everything off. Ah, you don't have to do that. It's it's just a burned out light bulb. That's all. Yeah, I've got a, quite a few on. Yeah, but okay, yeah, okay, okay. All right, well, all right, hurry you guys up. Go ahead. I'll hurry up. Run, run. I'll run, run. Okay, run, see ya. Run, Bye. run like the wind. Okay. All right, bye. He was not in the mood to argue with me about it. And those people that he's with, they're probably just going to think he's crazy. Like, guess what? All the lights are going to turn themselves on. Hello? Hello, John? Yeah. Hey there, uh, it's Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. Yeah? Uh, we're we're going to be doing that experiment tonight in about 10 minutes where we make all the lights come on. We're going to be beaming electromagnetic energy at your house. Um, do, do you have, Is that right? Yeah. Do you have any of your lights on right now? Yeah. Okay. You're going to want to turn those off or, or they're going to burn out. It's going to be too much power in them. You're kidding. Nope. Is this for real? Oh, yeah. We sent out a thing in the mail a month or two ago. 
Oh, uh, it's it's just, we're gonna be uh, eventually trying to sell electricity, but uh, you know, wireless electricity. But uh, yeah, it's it's like a whole portion of the neighborhood we're gonna bathe in an electromagnetic waves, and uh, it's gonna light up all the light bulbs, like even the ones that aren't plugged in. When's this gonna take place? In about ten minutes. So if you have any lights on, you might want to turn them off. Otherwise, they're gonna. How about the? They're gonna. How about the TVs? Uh, I'm. Well, is it a flat screen or, or like one of those big boxy TVs? It's a flat screen. Oh, thank God! Yeah, the boxy ones. Those you don't have any of those in the house, do you? No. Like even if they're not plugged in. Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th- those would just uh, explode. Um, but flat flat screen should be fine. So you're saying my lights are going to come on when you do this? Yeah, every light in your entire house is going to turn on, and we're going to leave them on for about thirty minutes while we write down some numbers and stuff. Write down some figures. We've got a scientist from New York. He's down here helping out. Okay, so they, you want every light out in the house? Yeah, yeah. They've never tried anything like this before. We're just going to have them on for maybe a half hour. Everything's going to be really bright in there. We're going to turn it up to full power, so it's going to be extra bright. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> yep, yep, it's a crazy world we we live in. All right, I'll turn it out. Okay, yeah, just uh, we're going to start in maybe 10 minutes. Just uh, make sure all the lights are turned out, every single light in the house. Oh. Okay, how about our outside light? It's uh, automatic. Oh yeah, everything. Uh, uh, everything's gonna come you on. Can't tur- we can't turn that out. Oh, it's gonna burn out then. You're, you're gonna have to buy a new bulb for that. Mm, okay, I'll go take the bulbs out. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, but just sit there in the dark and wait for all the lights to come on. Okay. And uh, yeah, it'll just be ten minutes or so. All right. Ten minutes. And uh you may want to plug your ears. And we'll try not to break and we'll try not to break any glass this time. Can I refuse this? Uh no, no, we're just doing it. Um it, you're you're just in the range of our uh our our you know, the, the mach- machinery that's pointed right at your house. It's gonna get you and all this the neighbors. All the neighbors. Yep. Okay. Yep, you're gonna see all right. it. yeah, look out your window, it's gonna look really cool. Like every house is gonna be totally lit up. Okay. Like uh, extra bright, brighter than normal. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna go on and do those bulbs then, right? I will. Okay. You, you gonna, what are you gonna do about people that aren't home? Uh, well, if their lights are on, they're just gonna burn out. They'll just have you know they'll just have to replace their bulbs. No big deal. That's expensive sometimes. Nah, <laughs> bulbs just like what <laughs> fifty cents or something. It's fine. Uh, okay. All right. Just hopefully they don't have those boxy TVs. Uh, if you uh, see any uh, explosions, can you give me a call back? Uh, if I do, yeah, I guess I could. Okay, thank you. Don't tell anyone else, though. Just give me a call. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for uh, helping out. Okay. All right, hurry up. Bye. Bye. All right, bye. So that guy and his wife are going to sit in their house in complete darkness... I mean, I guess they're going to have the TV on, so that's fine. But they're just going to sit there in complete darkness and wait for all the lights to come on. That sounds hilarious. And he's out there uh, unscrewing bulbs right now, because apparently there's no switch for him. I should have just had him turn off the breaker. That would be so much quicker. But yeah, I think I'm done with everything. I'm, I'm done with it all. The show's over. Thank you, Reggie, for sending in this list and many other lists in the past. And the idea from Kingsley, the ice cream truck idea, that was pretty great. I'm going to try that one again. This is an awesome list, though. I need to. I, I should do some of those billboard pranks with this list. You know, putting a billboard up in front of people's house. Maybe the uh, electric garbage truck charging stations. Because on Google Maps, this seems like a really nice neighborhood. And they probably wouldn't be too crazy about billboards in front of their house. Hey, Bradley. Hey. Yeah, that's right. I'm just going to start calling you Bradley. Fine, I don't care. Oh, so Bradley. What, so I don't call me Bradford. I hate that. I'm going to pick with you. You need to update the PLA Media Pack. Oh, Fans that, like me want to download thing. the new shit. The last time you up, uploaded it or updated it was 2016, I want to say. So yeah, update the PLA Media Pack. I'm giving you a task. Okay. 
Thanks. Bye. It was actually 2017, I think kind of later in the year. Not that that's any excuse. I should have done one by now. But I will, without a doubt, I'm going to do one in 2020. Brand new PLA media pack. Right now, I need to concentrate on the prank call media pack that I'm working on, which is going to have just a ton of material in it, a ton of shows, ton of prank call albums by everybody, and lots of old shows, you know, Madhouse and Dwight. Not, not that I'm calling them old. I mean, old shows like, uh, you know, the Brent Westwood show and old Dwight shows, old Madhouse shows. The Purge. I've got a bunch of KDK in there. The XYZ show archives. Those are all in there. Hopefully all of them. Maybe not all of them, but you know, just tons of stuff. And that will, of course, include all of the Snowplow shows, all the PLA albums, a bunch of pranks by PLA. It's going to be really huge. So everybody should buy new hard drives soon. You're going to need it. Lots of material coming out that you've probably never heard before. Hey, Brad. You're probably going to get bored with me because you're going to find all this new stuff, but it's whatever. Brandon from PA again. Hey, Brandon. Um, First, how are you? Oh, just great. And doing, second, doing, doing well. Have you heard of the um? Thanks for asking. The new Sony headphones they have out, the XM3s. Nope. I was just, I'm probably getting them for my birthday, and I wanted to know what you, what you thought of them. Oh, All right. uh, <laughs> nothing. Because if you don't, it's okay. Never but heard of them. I was just asking. So. I bet you they're awesome bye. though. They're apparently noise canceling. I just typed them into Google. And they're very expensive, something I will never own in my entire life, because I'm pretty happy with my 30 or $40 headphones that I have here. They're also Sonys. They just probably sound like garbage compared to your fancy XM3s. I hope you like hey, them. Hey, honey baby, it's Lex Hort. Uh, update on the design. Girlfriend is uh, really busy, and um, I have some ideas, so we are kind of talking about it and hopefully get that done shortly what also uh wanted to bring up this guy i found on youtube his name this, is this uh this voicemail is from august 20th you know i'm really behind on the voicemails i got all my emails caught up but i am way behind on the voicemails i've been just kind of going around randomly and grabbing voicemails in every show so Kit boga k-i-t-b-o-g-a um not sure if you've heard of him he does like the irs scam thing on twitch nah. but uh he has a voice modulator thing where it sounds exactly like an old woman it's incredible how he does it um hmm. not sure if you've heard of it he's uh, probably actually good at doing impressions of voices unlike me where i just talk in my regular voice when i do carol and she sounds completely fake he can probably sort of do a voice and the voice changer just kind of helps him I you have, know uh on the subreddit pulled up it says he's using a hardware called roland vt3 and go xlr that's what i have well i mean i have a roland vt3 let me see what a go xlr is you guys are making me look up so many things today oh yeah i've seen this i've seen this thing this go xlr it's very expensive but there are knobs for pitch and gender that looks kind of cool and uh on his subreddit page Added there's my wish list. a video link i guess that explains it Yep. Um, so anyway, uh, if you want more information, I can email or send you... Uh, it's okay. I looked at um, it. I don't know. It's something. expensive. But uh, just check shit. out his channel because it's pretty funny. And I think if you hear how he uh, disguises his voice, it's incredible the way how accurately mm. it sounds like an old woman. And I would love to hear what you could do with that. Yeah. Um, so thanks, Brad. Working on the new design or uh, just some kind of new logo for PLA. Oh, you, cactus, yeah. Cactus. That old Maybe thing. I kept this just over 30 seconds uh, for the first time since I always leave long email or voice what? message. Did you, did you just say you think your voicemail was 30 seconds? Because it wasn't. It was a minute and 30 seconds. Nice try, though. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, I'll Crimson. keep this voicemail short because I'm just answering a question. Thank you. Uh, there's a call to the roommate. Well, Carlito is in the hospital. Congratulations. I have... Your prank call. Uh, you can call an episode in 2014 named Coke Terrorism. And on the podcast version, I'm not sure about YouTube, but on the podcast version, it's 21 minutes and 30 seconds into the episode, and you will find the call to the old man in the hospital. All right, All right. Bye. Yep. Everybody always gives me shit about that call. So whatever 2014 episode was called uh, Coke Terrorism, 21 minutes in, you will find the old man in the hospital call. I am way too lazy to play it right now. I mean, it goes on for a while. Basically, I call up an old man in the hospital who's sick and probably dying. He's Carlito's roommate. And I tell him it's his turn to mop the floors. 
and Carlito gets to listen to them all freak out about it, and it's so hilarious. Dominate, Bradzy. It's Rico Rocks. Hey, Rico Rocks. Well, a few months ago, I left you a message to spell your name in the phonetic alphabet for me. I asked you to spell RBCP, and you went ahead and you just spelled RBP. I thought that was really funny. Hey, man, I, I fucked up, and I weird. erased my entire fucking PLA archive uh, on my SD card because uh, I fucking wanted Metallica. I'm such a fuck up. Yeah, but, uh, you so are. I don't usually do this, but I have a couple of song requests. What I want to hear is your pants hit the floor because I'm choking my chicken. And also, another little number called Shut the Fuck Up, Old Man. Okay, yeah, I'll totally play those. It's going to happen. Not today, though, because I'm playing that one Bone Cage song about Ohio. Hey, Brad, it's Chris. I'm calling from Clearwater, Florida, Sunshine State. Just hey, wanted to Chris. say I'm a huge fan of the show and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thanks, thanks so much, man. Thanks, Chris. We've been calling your people down there today, down in Florida somewhere. So this oh, voicemail is yo, what's going on, very my man appropriate. Roy, my man Roy, I love you. You were my favorite YouTuber. You were the best prank caller ever. Thanks. I think you were the greatest prank caller ever. You were absolutely amazing. Oh, shucks. Pass the stat, man. Woohoo! All right. Man, it's crazy how far behind I am. I I'm going to at least finish up August right now. There's just a few more in August. Really, I should just do everything today in today's show. Hey, Brad. Dave from Australia. Hey, Dave. I think you well. Uh... Next sun next Sunday is uh, Father's Day in Australia. What? So um, that's weird. I reckon out of my three kids, I'll be talking to at least two of them. Hopefully, all three. Uh, hopefully, but, uh, things are a bit rough with uh, me and my son at the moment. Yep. Um, apart from that, that's nice. Uh, UFC China is uh, on next Sunday, and the Sunday UFC. after that. Okay, thanks for the voicemail, Dave from Australia. Thanks for calling and telling me about the UFC and your kids. Hey, this is Hayden from Orlando, Cactus. Hey, okay. Thanks, Hayden, for that one. I like that it was short. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Tasha from Texas. Anyways, Hello. what the hell is a snowplow show, huh? Oh, yeah. August of this year was pretty rough. I think I went two weeks between a show once, and then I went three weeks between the next one. Need another episode, it was man. Terrible. Kind of getting the jitters over here, man. It's like, what's up with that? Yup. Motherfucker. Sorry. I'm back on track now, though. I mean, it's kind of a slow start this week, but I'm gonna get three shows done this week. So that's good. Okay. Delaware. What? Uh, I haven't called in quite some time, but I had a question. Okay. Have you ever considered doing live shows? Yes. Uh, I feel like your content could uh, could easily be uh, segued into on a live show. Look at. Uh, Are you talking about live shows online or like a stage show? Different uh, list planned out. It's a lot of effort. Calling at a normal time of the day to maximize answers. Oh, I don't know, yeah. Just a thought. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Think okay. Thanks for the suggestion. I've done tons of live shows. This year, even. So many live shows. Not as many as I used to, but sometimes I do. You know? Hey, Brad. This is Anthony from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I've hey, been a Anthony. big fan for a long time. And just want to call on a whim because I was listening to uh, the show about the cell towers recently. And uh, the guy mentioned public works. Uh, and you kind of said, you're like, oh, yeah, that's what I should start saying. And I just want to say how much I appreciate those moments when you kind of break the fourth wall. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Thanks. Bye. Yep. I actually remember that. Is that where I was moving cell towers with a truck? Those were good times. I need another list like that. Hey, honey, baby, sugar tits. It's uh, Meat Pie 007 from Utah. Hey there. Uh, Meat Pie. Stop hearing voicemails during the goddamn show and just do prank calls. Thank you, you big dumb retard. Thank okay. you. Good job contributing to the problem of leaving voicemails. Those were a couple of newer ones that I just played. I'm going to play one last one. Let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna find one that's short. Here's one that's kind of short. Hey, Brad, you dildo. It's oh, me. Hey. You know, it's been a while since since they dug has called anyone, accusing them of staring at him and giving him snake eyes. It hasn't been that long. I was long. wondering if Carol could call around and accuse people of staring at her. I think that'd be kind of fun. Okay. I bet she could. Maybe I'll do that someday, and I won't give you any credit for the idea. That's it for today's show. Thank you, FOD87, and Amanda D, and Gobi, and Rhino Knife, and Jack S, and James S from Adelaide. 
you all are the best for supporting the snowplow show please follow us on twitter twitter.com slash phone losers facebook at facebook.com slash phone losers if you listen to the show on youtube there's another youtube account i mean there's several really but there's youtube.com slash phone losers of america that's one where just the single pranks are just the good stuff instead of these really long drawn out shows with voicemails in them that everybody hates and what else there's a reddit there's a Facebook group. There's the Discord. The Discord's always fun. There's over 500 people in the Discord. And they're all pretty nice people. And they don't freak out and yell at us when we're not nice enough to them. And start a big old hate campaign at us on Twitter and YouTube. Like somebody did this morning. If you weren't in the Discord this morning, man, you missed out. It was a pretty high maintenance morning. So add phone losers on all of the things. There's links in the show notes on snowplowshow.com to everything. And don't forget to support the show. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Oh yeah, I didn't play a clip of the most recent hobo sode, which happened, was that yesterday? Some guy was really annoyed with me because I told him that someone stole his kitchen cabinet. Here's a small clip of that. Seems a little weird. Like, yeah, you're I'll, being I'll all calling you right back. You're, you're just and, being kind of... And then I'll decide from... You're being, huh? ske- you're being sketchy about it. Why are you being so sketchy? I'm not being sketchy. What are you, you... You guys are unreal. I told... Like I told the other guy, I've dealt with for years and you've always been super good. And I cannot believe what I'm hearing. That's I, why I think it's a prank. Yeah, but the, the, the whole thing and like you use your... your your middle name and and then you're talking about who doesn't it? lots of people use their middle name it's not my fault i was brought up that way my bank goes by my middle name everybody goes by my middle name my wife goes by my middle name my family goes by my middle name that guy was great he ended up getting butt slammed at the end of the call and he was equally unhappy about that and wasn't afraid to tell me so and you could hear that entire call if you support the show for just five dollars a month at patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash support I highly recommend supporting the show so you can get extra shows and everything. Today we're ending the show with a song by Bone Cage. This is the song about Ohio, which was parodied by Beagle Dude for today's intro song. So thanks again, Beagle Dude, for that intro song, and thank you, Bone Cage, for hopefully not caring that I'm going to play this song on my podcast. I am almost certainly not depressed. You're obviously on good ratings, anyways. I never listened to, never heard of this gerbil.